This is Win News. Tonight, a family went to safety in wild seas after their boat capsized. The Central Queensland family say they thought they were going to die after being swept into the sea off Roslyn Bay. The parents and three children clung to their overturned boat for three hours yesterday and rescuers declared they're lucky to be alive. The Hugo family were thrown into the sea after three metre waves rolled their boat three kilometres offshore. 13 year old Lauren was missing, trapped under the boat. Straight away I thought I was dead, I thought, you know, that's it. Just, I didn't know whether, you know, just, just, I started screaming but I don't think anyone could hear me. Her father frantically searched for her, fearing she'd drowned. And he'd gone under and he come back and he didn't have her and I thought, you know, she was gone. The brutal weather continually washed the family away from the boat, but 15-year-old Adam kept grabbing his siblings, dragging them back. They screamed and waved at distant boats, but no one saw them in the rough seas. I didn't think anyone was going to come. It was just scary. A Coast Guard boat battled huge waves racing towards the boat. They were extremely lucky. The family set off an emergency beacon, but it was under the boat and gave off a weak signal. Volunteers saved precious minutes triangulating its position. <coughs> Identify that the uh, boat uh, was actually north of the harbour instead of in the direction of Great Keppel Island, which we had expected. Rescuers say without the emergency distress beacon, they would have struggled to ever find the group. Look, it's an eagle in a haystack, even, even with the boat. You know, the, most boats are white. Um, you know, and on a windy day yesterday, you're looking at an ocean of murky water and white caps. The Hugos had fingernails torn off, clinging to the boat, but after three terrifying hours, they were winched to safety and have endless appreciation for their rescuers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've got no idea how much we appreciate all their help. Tom McLean, Win News.